just a guy with no ass on his ass. Assing it up under an asinine sky. Ass into the tumbleweeds as we ass by. <laughs> Speaking of ass, I, I can't get over this. Toe Jam Green says, We cannot take in one million refugees from Gaza. We would be importing anti-Semitic people, many who support terrorism. Besides, the Biden admin has already imported millions of illegals who should not be here and is forcing Americans to pay for them. What an absolute nonsense statement. Who is suggesting anything like this? It's just what you do and it sickens me. She does sicken me. And I hope she sickens you too. Look at this shit. This idiot has no idea that these people are Semitic too. And we would be importing anti-Semitic people. What she really means by that is anti-Jew people. Or anti-Israeli people. Which is another bullshit statement from her. Because this is the idiot that believes Jews have space lasers. That can destroy the entire world. With the push of a button. Something she got from World War Z. Because that's the only thing ever that showed a Jewish space laser. She probably saw some kid playing World War Z. And took it as a documentary or some shit. And then here's another thing. These are the photos she's showing. These are photos of children. We would be importing anti-Semitic people who support terrorism. Then don't use a photo of children. You idiot. You idiot on wheels. Do you think any of these four-year-olds support terrorism? You dumbass. Anti-Semitic people who support terrorism. Puts up a picture of Semitic people who are four years old. Literal victims of terror. What an absolute moron. One progressive Dem suggests we should take some in after strict vetting, and that equals all progressives, which no doubt will turn into all Dems according to those who do nothing but lie. No one is importing anyone, but the cult will certainly eat it up. Spare me your fake concern about this and Jewish space lasers. Your party must be held accountable for the circus. And removal of Kevin McCarthy and Tommy Tuberville needs to be impeached. Let's get a few things straight, given your penchant for spreading disinformation. Because that's exactly what it is. Don't confuse the terms misinformation and disinformation. Because there is a difference. And where this Neanderthal is concerned, it's disinformation. Refugees from Gaza, this is a lie. There is no official policy indicating any intentions. That is your subjective take, Marjorie, to fear monger. Plus, refugees are often placed in multiple countries as part of international cooperation on displacement and refugee settlement. Remember, our nation once opens its arms to Jews escaping Nazi persecution. 
The decision to accept refugees is multifaceted, taking into account security, humanitarian needs, and global obligations. It's not about tossing around random numbers without context. The U.S. has stringent security screening and background checks for refugees. The USRAP screening includes both biometric and biographic checks, which occur at multiple stages throughout the process, including immediately after the preliminary resettlement support center interview, before a refugee's departure to the United States, and on arrival at U.S. at a point of entry. Two, labeling refugees as anti-Semitic and terrorist supporters. Really? It's alarmingly simplistic and downright dangerous to brand refugees as anti-Semitic or terrorist sympathizers. Might I add, all of these refugees people are feeling for right now being children, the elderly, the sick, innocent non-combatants. Refugees are fleeing from persecution and violence. They are victims, not villains. The UN has been clear. Terrorists don't get refuge. And for your information, the US has robust vetting mechanisms to weed out potential threats. Three, on the Biden administration importing illegal immigrants. Imported, huh, Marjorie? They are not commodities. That's 1.6 million figures that you're spewing doesn't represent people the Biden administration personally ushered in. Immigration issues span multiple administrations, and it's intellectually lazy to try to pin it on just one. As for the notion that the administration is forcing Americans to pay, immigration economics is not a simplistic ledger. It's a vast tapestry of costs, contributions, and benefits. Our asylum laws may need an overhaul, and Republicans refuse to collaborate on comprehensive reform. You exploit fear about the border while benefiting from undocumented labor. The open border attacks on Biden are false. He has deployed record border security resources and cooperation with Mexico. Contrary to the narrative you're promoting, the Biden administration has been proactive. They have deployed over 23,000 agents providing more border security than any prior administration. They are actively working to reduce illegal crossings and expedite legal migrations. Biden's budget allocates nearly $25 billion for CBP and ICE. The administration is also cooperating with the Mexican President Lopez Obrador on border and migration issues. Additionally, there are targeted initiatives to address migration root causes in Central America. So, painting a picture of indifference from Democrats or Biden regarding the border is not just misleading, but factually incorrect. A more collaborative approach from both sides, instead of just pointing your finger, might yield a comprehensive immigration reform we desperately need. 24 elections can't come soon enough to vote your do-nothing, attention-seeking fear mongers out of the House. I just found you, man. Love your thought process. Right on. Terrific response. Toe Jam Green doesn't believe in facts. She does what gorillas do. Throw shit on the wall and see what sticks. She thinks people don't know how to fact check her. Blatantly lying and gaslighting innocent people and should be removed from office for all the false info she spreads. Exactly. Good for you, human. This woman is just... I don't even want to call her a woman. She's a Neanderthal chimp.
Yeah, I wish I could get that shit. Unfortunately, I don't really have too much technical know-how or the funds to upgrade at this time. Hopefully, I will soon. We are not Hamas. We are not Netanyahu. Hey, how about a citizen re-exchange? We'll import as many Gazans as there are Georgians who voted your ass into office. Juan Q. Publico. Good job. Yeah, the United States kind of has a long history of accepting all kinds of refugees from around the world. And many other countries do as well. Gotta love how she uh, paints this picture as the United States being the only country that bears all of the world's burdens. Which, by the way, is not a burden. Trying to save innocent child refugees from war-torn areas should never be a burden. We can't take in any refugees until we find some stability in our nation. Except there is no stability in the Republican clown car. In other words, when hell freezes over, I got an idea. Get rid of the Republicans. Ha! Huh. These refugees will have to prove themselves worthy of living in a more evolved country such as America. Ha! Ah, good one. More evolved. More than half your country live like it's the 1800s. Dome by choice, others by force. Worst education system in the world. Horrible health care, no social system, evolved my ass. Prove themselves worthy. You're talking about children, babies. Refugee usually means tired, poor, stuck as victims of those causing war they had nothing to do with. People make me sick. Absolutely sick. I do want a citizen re exchange. I'll take in all these innocent children right here. Let's give them our GOP. Let's give them assholes like this. I want my country to be an advanced nation. And ironically, the only way we're going to do that is by getting rid of people like this. We have enough people in our country that should probably go. G 
Gee, that was quick. Ass into the tumbleweeds as we ass by. Something else that's really, really interesting here. Cornell West got into an argument with Alan Dershowitz over Israel. Dershowitz is such a douche. Cornell West killed it. And I think it's very important to understand what Dershowitz is saying here about refugees, innocence. This is what we're talking about. Let's see. Actually, let me see if there's a mirror here because Reddit's video players suck. Actually, lacking nuance. No, that I didn't say like nuance. That's the title of the piece. Okay, I, actual words were. I just be very honest. I got it here in front of me. Words the words were that Israel's policies of war crimes and collective punishment against Palestinians are set a to Israel and the United and Hamas States are must take responsibility for killing innocent people. Anybody who kills innocent people are engaging in barbaric acts. You said no matter Israel, who they are, what color, clear. what nation, and so forth. It's That's the first point that is very important. Anybody who engages in these barbaric acts against innocent people, I don't care if they're Palestinian, if they're Hamas, if they're Israeli, if they're Jewish, it doesn't matter. The horrible consequences of war, violence, brutality, that's where our focus should be. Israel and the United States are primarily. The United States have supported and enabled. You explain to this audience. I want you to explain. Okay. How, how is Israel and the United States responsible for beheading 40 children? How? I'm talking about the context. 545 Palestinian children died in August 2004. Not one American said a word. I believe a Palestinian baby has the same value as an Israeli baby. So when you have that kind of vicious hatred and revenge, you get response of hatred and revenge. They are all wrong. They're all war crimes. They're all to be condemned. But you cannot simply look at this particular moment without the... That's the point. And that's what these idiots on Fox are trying to keep pushing. It's more fear-mongering. What happened just a couple of days ago? What happened just a couple of days ago? Let's look at what happened a couple of days ago. He's saying that's not what I'm talking about. You could go into the underlying issues. You could focus on what happened to Israeli babies and innocent people a few days ago, but you can't completely ignore shit that Israelis and the IDF have done to innocent Palestinian children. But that's also a different thing. And as he said, which is beautiful, I happen to believe a Palestinian baby has the same worth as an Israeli baby. It doesn't matter what side they're on. It doesn't matter what religion they on, they're on. It doesn't matter who did what first. Fuck them all. Both of these sides are just awful. What we have to focus on are the innocent children, the elderly, women, non-combatants. 
that are being brutalized. That's what you're supposed to be focusing on. And Fox doesn't seem to want to do that. The larger backdrop of an ugly occupation and the ugly attacks chronically against Palestinians. Those are not your words. Largely right. Israel and the United States are primarily responsible for this attack. Professor Dershowitz. Well, I complained when Palestinian children were killed, but I explained why they were killed. Here is one of the leaders of Hamas. For the Palestinian people, death has become an industry. The elderly excel at this, and so do the children. This is why we have formed human shields of the women and the children. Hamas is the ones responsible for the killing of Palestinian children. Also, the Hamas has a term. It's called the CNN strategy. And the CNN strategy is induce Israel into killing Palestinian children by using them as human shields. Then parade the bodies out on CNN, and you'll see what happens. People like Cornell West will engage in crocodile tears, blame it on Israel, when the entire blame is on the Palestinians, Hamas, for using... Except he isn't, you dumb fuck. So according to Alan Dushowitz over here, it's all just in everybody's heads. He's attempting to gaslight you by stating that if you see dead Palestinian children, if you see dead innocent Palestinian non-combatants, innocent people, that has nothing to do with Israel. That's also Hamas. That's Hamas that chooses to use them as human shields. So, apparently, in this asshole's mind, every single dead Palestinian child or non-combatant, that has nothing to do with Israel. That has nothing to do with Israel's attacks against innocent people. That's all Hamas. Every single dead child, every single dead woman, dead elderly person, every innocent victim, that has nothing to do with Israel. And the nerve of his ass to say Cornell West is shedding crocodile tears, that this is all Israel's fault. He never said it was all Israel's fault. He just told you. He doesn't care what narrative you want to spin. Whether they're Israeli or Palestinian children, that's who he cares for. You're going to have to look at all kinds of underlying issues. When it comes to the situation, if you really want an informed answer, but ultimately it doesn't matter. Whether they're Jewish, whether they're Muslim, whether it's Gaza uh, or anywhere else, whether it's Israel, whether it's Palestine, innocent non-combatants and victims are called victims for a reason. They are caught in the middle of this. They have no choice. The nerve of your ass. Their children, their children as human shields, and then using their children as shields Professor, to but, but, permit what us to go I have the same outrage when Palestinian babies are killed, when it Jewish babies be are the Israeli same babies. Outrage. I want you to have the same indignation oh, when Palestinians are killed. Not when they're, killed, not when they're killed by Palestinians, when that you can't. <laughs> oh, poor Cornell West. He is trying so hard. To make this asshole look like a human being. He is trying his best to give Alan Dershowitz an out. I'm upset about innocent babies being killed no matter who they are. That's what Cornell West is saying. And he says, hello, I want you to be upset over that same thing. He literally just told him, no, not if they're being killed by the right people. I, I want to throw this monitor out the fucking window. Make a moral 
embarrassing. When Nazi kids were killed in the bombings of Dresden, I didn't have the same comparison when Jewish kids were put in gas chambers and crematoriums. You're a professor of theology. Don't you understand? Oh, my God. I want to give Cornell West a Snickers right now. The look on his face says it all. Look at the shit. When Nazis' kids were being killed, I didn't feel bad compared to when Jewish kids were killed because of the things their parents did. And then look at that reaction. Cornell West knows he's never going to get through to this asshole. According to Dershowitz, depending on what their parents do, it's okay for certain people's children to be killed. He isn't listening to a word Cornell West is saying. It, it doesn't click in his mind dead children are dead children it doesn't matter what side they're on you're supposed to feel bad about dead children no matter who their parents are or what's going on in their country Understand the moral difference between deliberately murdering a kid and understand the moral difference. You, Dushowitz, have no fucking morals. Having collateral damage because they're a human shield. You're running for president of the United States. What would you do? Wait, wait, wait. Let me ask the question. Let me ask the question. What would you do if they were firing? Terrorists were firing at American children in America, and the terrorists were hiding behind Palestinian children. Would you allow the killing of Americans to continue, or would you go and get the terrorists, even if it meant possibly collateral damage on Palestinians? What would you do? I'll tell you exactly what I would do. First, truth and morality tend to be two casualties in any context of war. I would want to tell the American people the truth. I would tell them what the context is, how we found ourselves in this situation. And I would not jump for a military what, what invasion do? and a genocidal attack on a, a genocidal attack in Gaza. No, no. It's, it's not, not a genocidal attack when you're killing terrorists. This is like Warsaw, 1943. Where do they go? Where do they go? Yes. Let me tell you where they go. They go to the UN. The UN, UN is keeping Gaza them. To they, go, they go to... No, no, no. The UN has places in Gaza. They go to the Eleven rock crossing. UN people have been killed. They, the last few they, days. Go, they go to Egypt. They hey, if they're really innocent, they'll just uh, go find a UN sanctuary. Uh, they're in Gaza. They have them in Gaza. They'll just pick up. They'll just go to these places. Yeah, these people whose homes are bombed out whose family members are injured or missing, no electricity, no water, no food, no provisions, one shoe. If they're really just innocent, they'll just get up and uh, go over to their local UN office. These people that have nothing because they're being targeted. Gaza City is very dense, Absolutely. but Gaza Absolutely. itself, the Gaza Strip, there's lots of room. The Israelis have said, get out of Gaza City, go to Rafa, go to Khan uh, Yunus, go to other places. And you know what Hamas but is no saying? Water, no water, no electricity, You know what Hamas is dark? saying? Hamas is saying, don't go. Oh, I'm, I'm not don't here to defend Hamas. You are here. I'm not defending Hamas. Oh, wait a minute. I'm allowing me Did like you that. ever? I'm defending the suffering of, the, of, the, of, the, of Palestinians I want to hear Hamas itself. I want to hear war crimes. I want to hear you say. Anybody who commits war crimes are barbaric. I'm saying that explicitly, but I want you to say if the Israeli defense forces are killing children, no, no. are they barbaric too? No, no, they, no. They... no. That's what he's trying to say. Oh my God, Cornell West is so awesome. He keeps trying to pound it into his head and this idiot's just not listening. I don't care who they are. How many times do I have to tell your ass this? I don't care what side they're on. I don't care what it's about. I don't care what uh, this government is telling them versus what Hamas is telling them. I don't give a shit about that. What I care about are these innocent people that have no choice. 
Maybe they can't go anywhere. We know that a lot of them can't go anywhere. What the fuck would you do if you were in that situation? And you're sitting there saying, it's all just collateral damage. So, uh, you know, good morals say that as long as they're in the wrong place at the wrong time, that's just what war is. It's okay. Just shoot through them. And you shouldn't feel bad about it. Because, you know, the place where they live, all those people are evil anyway. That's what this asshole is saying. Brother, you got to get off the crack pipe. And I bet he does smoke crack. Okay, so Palestinian children are being used as human shields, so it's okay to kill them. These are cartoons that are air in Gaza for young children that are taught to hate the Jewish people. You know, just, just watch this for a second, and I'll have you both come up. Watch that. Professor West, yes. if you brainwash and indoctrinate young children, that you're teaching them to hate from that young age. Not good. No. Here's the problem. Any kind of here's the problem of hatred with, with is your, immoral and wrong. Here's the problem I, I have with your and others. If there's any hate on anybody, would, 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 would you wrong. condemn Black Lives Matter Chicago for justifying the Hamas murder by using these little airplane things and coming down on the uh, music six, event? But I, I don't want to hear. I would certainly condemn it. You condemn Black Lives Matter. I would condemn anybody. Okay. I'm glad to hear you. This is morality and spirituality. Okay. So you condemn Black Lives Matter. Part of our challenge, though, and this is just important, just as a leader, you see. Yeah. Me what I would do. I would say we got the inoccupation. We got to make sure that Palestinians have the same dignity, the same rights as Israel. Let me ask you. That's at the center. That's you, at know the I, you know I support guys, that. Guys, you know I support the two states. Okay, so if members of Black Lives Matter supported Palestine, does that mean Black Lives Matter is wrong? So you are saying you don't support Black Lives Matter? Right over his head, again. You can say you hate Hamas. That doesn't give you license to kill Palestinian children. And brainwashing is wrong no matter what side it comes from. Which he rightfully said, brainwashing indoctrination is absolutely wrong still doesn't make what you said right about how you see it as acceptable collateral damage to kill palestinian children but hamas doesn't support a two-state solution i'm not supposed to west i want to ask this question would gaza be facing annihilation if hamas did not attack and kill all these innocent israelis of course not. Gaza has been facing you're not a answering. chronic Would they be facing of an imminent annihilation since 2000? Would they be facing since 2000 and what? Since 2006 and 7, and Gaza was taken over by Hamas. I'm not and they pro Hamas. I'm pro the democracy, but I'm concerned about the suffering of Palestinians. Israel home. didn't fire a single rocket until Hamas fired 5,000 rockets. Israel controls the land, the air, only the after pain, Hamas the took food over. going in, the trade coming in, and so forth. But it was already under occupation. It was never. No, no, no. The occupation ended in 2005. Learn your history. Oh, Sharon yeah. left every American, every Israeli settler, every Israeli soldier left. In 2006, it was like Singapore. It could have been the nicest place in the Mediterranean. Okay, so, because Hamas is now in Palestine, because Hamas is trying to take over everything over there, do you think there shouldn't be a problem with Israel blowing it off the map? Since it's all Hamas anyway. 
And again, he's trying to get through to them. I care about the innocent people that are stuck in the middle of this. I don't give a shit what one side believes and who's taken over what and who controls the trade. And I don't give a shit about the politics. I care about innocent civilians. Alan Dushowitz and Sean Hannity, fucking Fox News. That's exactly what this is. That's all this is. First, it's trying to push this narrative that uh, because Hamas did this attack against Israel, and, you know, Hamas are just everywhere. Hamas just take people as human shields. Hamas doesn't even care about the Palestinians. They're trying to tell you this and then tell you that that makes it okay for Israel with the backing of the U.S. to just blow everything off the map. And then they try to justify this by showing cartoons that they show to Palestinian children as if to say, see, they brainwash all their kids anyway. What these two idiots are trying to do to this poor Cornell West right now, they're trying to make a case for getting people used to the idea of killing innocent children, Palestinian children and civilians acceptable. It doesn't matter. They use them all as human shields. So if Hamas are using innocent children as human shields, well, then you know which ones are members of Hamas. Therefore, just shoot through those children to kill the Hamas members. It's just collateral damage. That's acceptable collateral damage in war. That's what this asshole just said. And then they played these propagandist uh, videos. They try to spread to children there as a means of justifying it. Poor Cornell West. These people are chicken hawk warmongers. They are bloodthirsty. They don't seem to understand what they're advocating for right here are war crimes. You know, Cornell West should have asked them, and what if these human shields that they're using are infants? What if these human shields that they're using are kidnapped Israeli kids that you care so much about? Because in your opinion, Israeli children are worth more than Palestinian children. What if somebody comes out with a gun and he's got children with him because he's trying to throw his kids out of the house? What if it's a situation like you would see a billion times over if this were happening in the United States? where the adult has the gun because the neighborhood is a war zone. And that's why he's holding a weapon and he's got children with him. Do you fucking think? Do you have a goddamn brain? Do any of these things come into your minds? This is the shit that they're propagandizing Americans with. It is appalling. And everything Mr. West is saying to these people is just going in one ear and out the other. The important thing, the number one priority for anybody should be these innocent people, the innocent civilians, the non-combatants, the children. It doesn't matter whose side they belong to. It doesn't matter whose children they are. It doesn't matter what the politics are. 
whether they're Israeli or Palestinian. A Palestinian child is worth exactly as much as an Israeli child. A Palestinian baby is worth just as much as an Israeli baby. And you want to say that because America is siding with Israel and Palestinians are being overrun by Hamas and they're horrible terrorists and they attacked Palestinian or Israeli people just this past weekend. Well, that's it. I guess that's what happens. Time to blow them all off the map. And uh, you know what? If uh, you see a member of Hamas, you'll know him because he'll have a gun and he'll be using a child as a human shield. They use all their own children as human shields anyway. Those children don't mean anything to them. So go ahead and shoot right through them to get those Hamas members. That's what we call collateral damage in war. No, you idiot. We call that a war crime. You love the military so much. You love to boast about how great the military might for Israel is, which is backed by the United States. So it's about how much might the United States military really has. Well, then, I guess you should have no problem finding a lot of crackerjack sharpshooters. People that can take out that member of Hamas without harming the child they're using as a human shield. That's supposed to be the goal. That's supposed to be your number one priority as a good guy. You take out the bad guy without harming the innocent child. And it doesn't matter to these people. Everything, every horrible fucking thing is justifiable to them. Because, you know, the right side is the Israeli side. This is an outrage. What would you do if Palestinian terrorists were firing at American children? Well, obviously, I'd invade Iraq. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Yeah, Israel literally does target children. There are videos of it on this very sub. Literal war crimes do get a pass if you're Israel or the United States. That's kind of ironic. You see how that works? This is exactly the opposite of what Cornell West was talking about. That's the exact opposite of what I'm talking about and what anybody who wants to call themselves the good guy should be talking about. All of a sudden, all these atrocities, all these war crimes, all this cutting of corners, all of these horrible fucking things suddenly become justified when it's your side. In these assholes' minds, you know, these Fox people, they're no different. They're no different than either terrorist group because in their minds it's their side that means it's the right side that means they're the good guys that means war crimes do not apply to them and poor Cornell West he's trying to get them to understand this isn't about politics this isn't about right versus wrong, strong versus weak, rich versus poor. This isn't about 
Israel or Palestine. It isn't about left versus right, up versus down. It's about innocent civilians. I don't want to hear what if American children. I don't want to hear what if what they did last weekend. What these people did on this day. What happened on the second Sunday of the 13th year of 50 years ago. I don't give a fuck. What matters right now are innocent civilians. What matters right now is that children are being terrorized. Children are dying. That should be your number one concern. I don't care whose side they're on. I don't care what their region's politics are. I don't care whose God has a bigger dick than the other guy's God. Get that bullshit out of your head. It's about innocent civilians. It's about innocent children. Like Dr. West said, a Palestinian child has the same worth as an Israeli child. You don't blame the child because a random adult uses them as a human shield and say, well, they're just going to be watching propagandizing cartoons and uh, uh, they're all propagandized and brainwashed anyway. So, you know, and they're not on my side anyway. So uh, that is an acceptable casualty of war. No, motherfucker. Casualties of war are casualties of war. Because, unfortunately, it cannot be avoided. Under any circumstance, you don't want it to happen. You are supposed to do everything in your power to prevent it from happening. Casualties are inevitable in war doesn't mean you have carte blanche to commit any fucking atrocity you want, commit any war crime you want, and then try to justify it afterward. You would be no different from the people you claim to be better than. This is why wars happen. This is why innocent people get steamrolled over. You are doing the exact same thing that Hamas is doing. That you claim to be so vehemently against. It's your side. You believe. So therefore, anything that happens to the other side is acceptable. Not only acceptable... But let's just go and wipe everything out. That's it. All done. Wash our hands of the whole thing. Let's prove to the people I don't like that they should never, ever commit atrocities. They should never, ever commit terrorist acts. And, of course, we're going to do that by committing terrorist acts and war crimes. You're exactly the same. And you've got the exact same mentality. My side, we're the good guys. So anything I want to do to the other side becomes negotiable. It becomes acceptable. Fox can bite my fucking ass. That's homespun propaganda right there. And it's sad. And I feel horrible for Dr. West having to put up with this shit. Trying to speak truth to these fucking 
glorified crash test dummies that are sitting there. They're there. They're tangible. But nothing's sinking in. It, it's it's enraging. It's maddening. It makes me want to cry. We need a word for that. I, I literally want to laugh and cry at the exact same time. It's like there's air filling up my body. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know. I don't know. If wombs had windows, abortion would be unthinkable. Well, I mean, I saw my ultrasound and still got an abortion. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Isn't catching terrorists the definition of keeping America safe? Ah, uh, Michael Flynn is auctioning off a Mike Lindell autograph pillow to raise money for Peter Navarro's legal fees. Has anyone seen Melania lately? Maybe he shipped her back to her home country. I was at the Texas State Fair just now. I was steps away from where the shooting happened. My friend and I had to sprint to be the last ones to catch a train out of the fairgrounds. Pass fucking gun control, you fucking cowards. Oh, my God. Ah. FBI warns Hamas Nazi sleeper cells look to attack us here in America while Bo Biden keeps our borders wide open, for which he should be impeached. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah. More bullshit. Right-wing fear-mongering. Pathetic. That's sad. That's really sad. All the shit that's going on in the world. And it's just business as usual to the GOP. Hot 91. Uh. Sweet Brandon picks up the phone and saves a million civilian lives today. Israeli officials confirm they turned on the water supply to Gaza Strip. Happened after strong U.S. pressure in the last 48 hours.
And I guess that's how you president. Here comes the MAGA pro-life hate. Well, it would if maggots could read. <laughs> oh, they can read. It's the comprehension part that's terrifying AF. Yeah, Hillary hasn't emailed me in years. Why do you think? Don't worry, they'll all have their pastor, radio host, podcaster, and news pundit tell them how they should feel about the situation. Nah, they just won't ever know about it. Writers on Fox will just have their characters go on air asking why Biden won't do anything and ignore what he just did. Maybe it's a college football thing. No, they'll bitch now about how Biden is putting other countries' needs ahead of America's. All while they continue to vote against everything that would actually help Americans. Because these people have no interest in helping Americans or anyone, just themselves. That's why they get so upset they blow the immigration issue out of proportion. As someone who grew up on a farm, I can tell you we appreciated the hell out of those illegals for coming and working those crappy jobs. Had someone on social media whining about her mother trying to get home from Israel and being forced to sign a promissory note in exchange for passage out of the country. She was going on about how this was an example of the Biden administration not prioritizing the U.S. citizens. So tempted to post in response, asking if she was aware that the promissory note was one that existed under the Trump, both Bushes, Reagan, Ford, Nixon, and Eisenhower administrations. Ah, here's a good one. Just counter with, what do you think will help Americans? And it's absolute bullshit that spills from their mouths. That's because when they say millions and billions are wasted overseas, when it could be used to help Americans, it means give that money to them. They want that money for themselves because they work really hard. But they're never going to be able to win any argument with that fact, so they just use pure drivel. Ain't no hate like Christian love. <laughs> I'm so glad that's a thing. <laughs> there can be no forgiveness for the MAGA evangelicals who hate everyone that's not them. Exactly. Funny how Republicans are not demanding the birth certificates of Nimrata Nikki Randhawa and Vivek Ramaswamy. Okay. They did not behead 40 babies. They killed 40 and some of those were beheaded. If this is true and Hamas beheaded only some of the 40 babies, then we apologize unreservedly. The last thing we'd want to do is cast Hamas in a bad light is having cut off more infant heads than they actually did. Next, am I the asshole post incoming? Landlord of woman kidnapped by Hamas is still demanding a rent. Uh, 
Ah, uh, shit. Is Illinois man killed by six-year-old Muslim boy in hate crime motivated by the Israel-Hamas war? Nope, police charged a 71-year-old man for fatally stabbing a six-year-old boy and wounding a 32-year-old woman. Ah, I read that wrong. Ah. Uh. This is my 14-year-old son, Corey. Today he died. He was successful in his attempt to end his life. Despite family support, he was targeted and suffered anti-trans hate online. Good Christian people, this is the reality of your bigotry. Anti-trans people bullied and harassed a 14-year-old kid to suicide. Never let them get away with saying they cared about kids. And there we go again. We care about kids. We care about kids. We're the good guys. We're the good guys. But if you don't follow what we say you should do in life, then it becomes negotiable. Harming children. Same thing from a different direction. Oh my God. This is the shit I'm talking about. And with that, I am starving. I'm having dinner. See y'all.